Okay, here we want, uh, in this example, we are going to look at the larger angle of a rhombus measures four, 114 degrees. The longer diagonal is 16.4 centimeters. Find the length of the sides of the rhombus. So first, let's draw ourselves a rhombus. A rhombus is a parallelogram where all sides are the same length. Okay. Let's take that, make it bigger. Okay, the larger angle, it's this one here, is 114 degrees. The longer diagonal, that's this one, okay, is 16.4 centimeters. Find the lengths of the sides of the rhombus. So we want to find this. Okay. Now, one of the properties of rhombuses is that if you take their diagonals, the diagonals meet at 90 degrees. So this, although it doesn't look like it, is 90 degrees. Okay, these sides are all the same length. So therefore, this angle here is going to be um, 114 divided by 2, so 57. Okay, so 57 degrees, 90 degrees. These are the same length, so it's going to bisect this as well. So the whole length is 16.4. That means this is 8.2. Okay. Again, let's take this critical information and redraw a right triangle. And clearly label the information that we have. So this triangle here is what I'm drawing. So here is 8.2. This angle here is 57. This angle here, well, we don't need it. Um, what we're looking to is find the length of the sides. So we want this length here, okay, across from the right angle. We have an angle, we have the opposite, and we have the hypotenuse, okay? So when we have the opposite and the hypotenuse, the ratio that we choose is sine. So sine of 57 is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. Okay. A little bit of algebra. We can divide both sides by the sine of 57, multiply both sides by x, and then at this point, our calculator can do the rest. So 8.2 divided by sine 57, and that gives us 9.777, rounded to three significant figures, 9.78, because seven makes that go up. So 9.78. Very important in the IB that we are also paying attention to units, and our units are centimeters. Oops. 9.78.